Uh, we gave the attendees an overview of progress on the new Everton Football Club Stadium. Uh, we're, we're in week 17 now, so we gave them a general update on how the works are going and what the plan is for the next few months looking ahead. When we descend on a town or a city and start a major project, obviously we have a huge impact. So we want to not disrupt any business and hopefully enhance the area and leave it in a better place when we finish. We've always engaged with the local um, businesses, local supply chain partners, um, local and strategic partners as well, such as statutory organisations. We've kept them engaged all the way through the planning application process. They've been really supportive. It seems only fair and reasonable that we continue um, to, to, to maintain that relationship with these people. It's a little bit of a presentation from Lango Rock in terms of where we're up to and site at the moment, all of the work that they've done over the past 17-18 uh, weeks that they've been on the site um, and then having um, a discussion around what we're doing as a club and what Lango Rock are doing in terms of sustainability, inclusivity, um, what the kind of different build elements require, what all the commercial opportunities are at the stadium. Um, and yeah, generally project update on, on what's coming up over the next few months. Mine was mainly around sustainability and inclusivity, so talking around all of the work that we've done, kind of pre-construction during the planning phase, um, all of the work that we've done around our offset schemes, around ensuring that marine life and things are rescued from the dock before we've done any work inside of there. Um, all of the things that Lango Rock will do through construction as well, some amazing uh, opportunities they've got with their infrastructure to manufacture items off site, bring it to site ready to install, ensuring that we reduce waste, we reduce transport loads, um, all the fantastic initiatives that they've got the power to provide. And then also what the club are doing operationally, so all of the initiatives we can install from day one. So whether that's the, the PV panels on the roof um, to sort of produce that energy for the stadium to operate, um, the electric vehicle charging points in the car park and future proofing as well for expansion of that as more and more people start to drive electric vehicles. Um, the, the pipe and lines to the beer, we make sure we get that to everywhere in the stadium so that we can use the reusable cup scheme everywhere where we haven't had the luxury to do that previously at Goodison Park. Um, and making sure that all of our facilities and our systems are, are totally up to date. We've got the latest technology and we can we can manage that system far more efficiently from an energy consumption perspective. To make sure that we've got all the right LED light bulbs in from day one and we're not running around and changing them when one goes and yeah, just making sure that we're, we're fully sustainable as we can be. It was really, really fascinating to hear the, the updates for the stadium today. We were here, I uh, can't remember how long ago now, and it was obviously a proposed site. We were seeing what was proposed to go on on the, the Bramley Wall site, but today, to see the progress made, fantastic. It looks further on than I thought it would be, as in the, the dock fill already looks two thirds done. And I thought that was going to take, you know, six months from what we were saying. But again, every time we have these updates, there seems to be more and more information. It seems 24, 25 is a long way off, but when you think we're nearly in 2022 now, so it's only a couple of years away. Uh, as an Everton fan myself, it's uh, really exciting to see what the future holds. It was great to be at the live buildings today, the home of uh, Everton Football Club's offices, of course, to learn about uh, the development of the new stadium at Bramley Moor Dock. Clearly, lots of progress being made and a real catalyst for regeneration of the north of Liverpool. I think what you heard today from Lango Rourke and also from representatives of the club is how important and crucial the integration and the inclusivity of the project is as far as Liverpool's wider regeneration is concerned. Yes, it's a football stadium. Yes, of course, it's a huge plus for Everton Football Club to finally be delivering a new stadium. But ultimately, this is going to be of real economic benefit for the whole of the Liverpool City region. And I think what the guys did today in terms of their presentation was explain exactly how uh, that's going to happen. So, great event, lovely to see the project progressing so quickly. Uh, and of course, as uh, the stadium continues to come out of the ground, we'll be coming back again, talking to the club, talking to the stakeholders, uh, and hopefully ensuring that local businesses and local people are engaged with the whole process as well. If you enjoyed that video, then please subscribe to our YouTube channel on the link below and be among the first to get to listen to all the latest interviews through the Downtown Den.